Imagine two majestic celestial beasts, each a swirling mass of billions of stars locked in a cosmic dance across the eons. This is the spectacle of galaxies colliding. In the vast expanse of the universe, galaxies are not static. They are in constant motion, swirling and twirling in an intricate ballet choreographed by the forces of gravity. This dance is not confined to our own galaxy, the Milky Way. In fact, it's a universal phenomenon, a cosmic waltz enacted across the canvas of space and time. Now, to grasp the sheer scope of this celestial spectacle, consider this. There are approximately 200 billion galaxies in the known universe. Each one of these is a colossal collection of stars, planets and other celestial bodies, all held together by the gravitational pull at their core. Galaxy collisions, therefore, are far from rare. In the grand scheme of the universe, they're actually quite common, but don't let the term collision mislead you. These are not violent crashes as we understand them on Earth, but rather slow, graceful mergers that unfold over hundreds of millions of years. Among the myriad galaxies, there are some famous dancers. Take, for instance, the Antennae galaxies. These two galaxies began their celestial tango somewhere between 200 and 300 million years ago. Today, they're in the midst of their cosmic convergence, creating a spectacle of stellar birth and death that is truly awe-inspiring. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of these galactic collisions is not the spectacle itself, but the implications they hold for our understanding of the universe. Each collision is a cosmic laboratory, a chance to observe and understand the fundamental forces at work in the universe. So, what occurs when these colossal celestial entities collide? Stay tuned to find out. When galaxies collide, it's not like a demolition derby. The distances between stars are so vast that actual stellar collisions are extremely rare. Imagine two swarms of bees merging, with each bee representing a star, and you'll have a pretty good visual. Now, the real magic happens due to gravitational interactions. Such a cosmic dance, driven by gravity, leads to a fascinating process known as galactic cannibalism. Yes, you heard it right, cannibalism on a galactic scale. When two galaxies come into contact, the larger one, with its stronger gravitational pull, starts stripping the smaller one of its stars and gas. It's the cosmic version of the survival of the fittest, where the larger galaxy gradually consumes the smaller one. Now, you might be curious about the speed of these cosmic cannibals. Well, they're not exactly in a hurry. These collisions occur at speeds typically a few hundred kilometers per second. To give you some context, that's over a thousand times faster than the fastest car in the world. But remember, we're talking about distances on a cosmic scale here. Speaking of scales, let's delve into the time scales involved. These collisions are not quick affairs. They take their sweet time, stretching over hundreds of millions to billions of years. It's a slow dance, a gradual merging of two galaxies, happening at a pace that's hard for us humans to comprehend. And what about the aftermath? Well, despite what the term collision might imply, it's not all chaos and destruction. In fact, these galactic interactions can result in some of the most stunningly beautiful objects in the universe. These include spiral galaxies with their elegant arms, elliptical galaxies with their smooth rounded shapes, and irregular galaxies that defy any simple classification. Despite the violent terminology, galaxy collisions can lead to some of the most stunningly beautiful objects in the universe. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that each point of light is part of a cosmic ballet, a slow, graceful dance of galaxies across the eons. In the aftermath of a galactic collision, new stars are born in a burst of creation. Amid the chaos and destruction, a new order begins to emerge. The celestial dance doesn't end in a cataclysmic finale. Rather, it sets the stage for a grand spectacle of creation. Imagine two galaxies, each a swirling mass of gas, dust and stars, hurtling towards each other at incredible speeds. As they collide, the gas within these galaxies is compressed. This compression leads to the formation of dense knots, where the pressure and temperature are ripe for the birth of new stars. This is a process known as starburst, a sudden and rapid increase in the rate of star formation. In such scenarios, the rate of star formation can skyrocket to be up to a hundred times the normal rate. It's like a fireworks display on a cosmic scale with each explosion birthing a new star. But the spectacle doesn't end there. As the galaxies merge, the immense gravitational forces at play can trigger the growth of a supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center. 
This black hole, a region of space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape, can grow to be billions of times the mass of our sun. These supermassive black holes are like cosmic vacuum cleaners, drawing in and swallowing vast amounts of matter. The aftermath of a galactic collision is not just about destruction, it's about transformation and evolution. It's about the creation of new stars, the growth of supermassive black holes and the emergence of new celestial wonders. It's about the universe reshaping itself, sculpting new galaxies from the remnants of the old. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember that those twinkling stars might have been born out of a violent collision between galaxies. They are a testament to the incredible power of the universe to create amidst chaos. Through the violence of collision, galaxies can transform and evolve, creating new stars, new black holes, and new celestial wonders. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is on a collision course with the Andromeda Galaxy. A scenario that sounds like it's straight from a science fiction novel, but is actually a fact backed by hard science. In approximately four billion years, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, and our cosmic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, will embark on a gravitational tango that will ultimately see them merge into a single entity. This new galaxy, sometimes whimsically referred to as Milk Dromeda, will be the result of this celestial collision. To give you an idea of the scale we're dealing with currently, the Milky Way and Andromeda are about two and a half million light years apart and they're closing that distance at an approximate speed of 110 kilometers per second. While it may seem like a violent end, this future collision is just part of the ongoing dance of galaxies in our ever-evolving universe.